uh, we've come from Norteño to Playa Verde to do another medical clinic. We've been asked by one of the women here to do a, a home visit for her daughter. She's pregnant, she's just about spot on nine months. She's asked us to do an ultrasound to check on the health of the baby and the position. So apparently the due date for this baby was, she was originally told us the 14th of July, it's the 18th of July today. A couple of weeks ago, so in June, she was at the hospital and they did an ultrasound there, but all they said to her was that they couldn't find the head and sent her on her way. So for that reason, both the, the pregnant woman and her mother are quite anxious because most of the women around here have their babies in their houses but they were concerned that if there are any complications or, or you know, if there isn't a favourable position and that kind of thing, what can they do? It's a long way to get to the hospital, so they need to know in advance. So would you describe it as bleach? Because it's a bit diagonally. It's almost transverse. Okay. Like a bleach slash okay. transverse, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's in good position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think it's more safe if she goes to the hospital for the birth. Yes, because here it's difficult to get out if she comes at night or at night, and how I'm going to move. Exactly, and if she needs a cesarean, so both the pregnant woman and her mother are justifiably worried about the fact that this baby's not in an ideal position um, to do a safe delivery when it's going to be happening in a house in a very isolated location where the nearest hospital is, is a couple of hours away and the nearest caesarean facility is more hours away. They don't have the money, they don't really have the resources to get to a hospital um, and plus the woman has another three-year-old daughter as well, so her mother has to stay home to look after that baby. I had a chat to Dr. Ben, the boss, um, and we're trying to come up with a plan to get her out to a hospital as soon as possible, because we don't know when she's going to go into labour. If, if she's at least 38 weeks and she's been told she's full term now, um, she could go into labour. I, so I, I mean, it took me ages to find it, because I was looking here and I was like, well, the head's not down, that's worrying, but where is it? And I had to like, I don't want her to go into labour at all. Here, in these kind of remote, faraway locations, when to transport is the most difficult question you know, that the Nobe struggle with because it's so expensive and so difficult to transport that they're inclined to kind of wait and wait until sometimes it's too late. It was wonderful to see both her and the baby thriving, especially after a birth which could have gone a very different direction. <laughs> So the baby's only waking up, you know, like to eat twice during the night and is sleeping. Ah, que suerte. It's como the lottery de bebe. Muradeis. 